I'm at the start of the Blue Gum Walk at the end of Rosemead Road in Hornsby. So this um, area in Old Man's Valley has some of the best strands of blue gum uh, eucalyptus saligna growing in the area. Now the reason that blue gums are growing here as opposed to your usual um, typical uh, sandstone vegetation where you get scribbly gums is because of volcanic activity in the area so the soil is a bit richer than you normally would get so we have this uh, blue gum growing here and uh, blue gums um, they're quite easily identified I've got um, they have their some right in front of me and they have um, a typical sock at the bottom and then they have the greyish bluish bark further up I've come to a stand of turpentine trees. Turpentine trees are usually indication of a soil transition where they're often found in between taller eucalyptus woodlands or rainforest and a porous sandstone soil. I'm crossing Fish Ponds Waterhole now, which was once a popular swimming spot and it still is, I believe, used um, by you as a swimming hole.
I'm out of the blue gum forest now and into the sandstone soil where banksias and angophoras dominate. I'm walking along an old Sawyer's route now, which was used in the 1800s to transport timber out of the valley. The vegetation has changed once again. Now it's dominated by casuarina, turpentines, and the occasional Angophora costata. <laughs> 